Hi everyone, welcome back. Guys, today we are going to discuss one of the important topic, okay? Primary key custom generator. Till now, you learn about primary key auto key generation. Like, I want to generate a primary key uh, for uh, a table, like one, two, three, four, five. Like this, you can able to learn already a lot of examples, right? So today I'm going to demonstrate you custom generator whenever you want to generate a primary key okay so you already know how to generate a primary key auto generation type equal a uh, generation type equal to auto but in terms of custom generator we have a requirement like whenever you book a uh, order like order is the prefix o r d and the suffix i want to add prefix i want to add in those use cases this the custom key generator will work it is kind of a alphanumeric guys alphanumeric primary key uh, generator where it contain okay alphabet letters and as well as numbers also here and a special character like a underscore also you can include as part of the custom generator okay in spring boot application basically a custom generator is typically used to generate custom ids for entities in a database Normally, what you do, strategy equal to generation type dot auto, generation type dot identity, generation type dot sequence. We have a generator types we have. One of the generator, okay, uh, with our use case, okay, this auto will not work to our application. For example, how it look like, okay. So, if you see, I want to generate a primary key based on this criteria. Now, have a look here. If you observe, PR1 is kind of a prefix and the remaining everything whatever you see it is kind of a auto generated so total this is called as a, a primary key alphanumeric how you can uniquely identify your record by using this id how you can do in our spring boot application basically okay to do this development in spring boot okay what are the steps you need to follow? The first step is we need to create Hibernate is providing one of the generator class for us by using the generator class identifier generator. By using that interface, I can able to create my custom generator class. Once you created your business logic, okay, how you can map to your entity class. Now you are writing a product entity, correct? For that product entity, category entity, or any employee department we have a number of entities for those entities how you can map this custom generator these two are the development steps and to test our api we should write our business logic okay like controller layer service layer repository layer these remaining all steps are common to do this development here okay so let me demonstrate you know how to do these development steps in our spring boot application here so quickly, I want to create a project. Uh, I chosen one empty workspace here. Okay, here I am choosing a fresh project file new. Here I am choosing one Spring Starter project here. Either you can download project from official website. Either you can use in the um, uh, STS tool also here. Okay, if you are practicing on IntelliJ, so obviously you should use um, download the project and import the project into your workspace. Okay. Now here what I'm doing here Spring Boot hyphen custom generator. Just I'm making this is my project name as of now I'm using. Okay. I'm choosing Maven project JDK 17 I'm using and group ID. I am following group ID as a com.java express and a package name also I'm using both same. Okay. And choose the next option. Okay. I think now the latest version is 3.3.0. Okay. That's okay. Now we'll try to see in the latest version how it is behaving. Now to do, I want to communicate to database. Obviously, you need as a data JPA dependency. Okay, choose the data JPA and I need the web dependency. Let me choose Spring Web Dependency as well. Uh, let me choose Spring Web Dependency. Now you want to con communicate with either MySQL database, either H2 database. Let me choose as a uh, MySQL database so that it will be easy for you. Okay, you can use H2 database also. Okay, now these are the database of properties there. So I need a Lombok plugin as well. Let me choose the Lombok plugin as well here, guys. 
let me choose lombok plugin i think these four dependencies are sufficient let me choose 3.2.6 still in the latest version we don't know what kind of modifications what kind of libraries are deprecated i think these are sufficient to start our application choose the next and if you want to change if you want to degrade another version yes you can change to here and choose it finish it here okay now our application is downloading now let it download Uh, guys, even we are going to start new microservices uh, real-time project development on the, this coming uh, weekend. Okay, so we, it is going to start from 30th May. If you are really interested, microservices real-time Java project where it include microservices, AWS, DevOps tools, Kubernetes, Docker, Jenkins, all the things are involved as part of this development. Okay, if you are interested, okay, this is the Zoom link and this is the password. First, you need to register here. Then only you can able to attend our two days demo sessions we have. If you need more information, guys, this is our contact number. You can contact this, to this number as well, guys. Okay. Yeah. Uh, still, my application is going to download. Let it run this application. Oh, sorry, guys. I think uh, it is downloading the Gradle project. Uh, Gradle, let me stop. I don't want a Gradle project. I need a um, Spring Boot project, a Maven project only, guys. Let me create another fresh project. Okay. Uh, let me quickly do the uh, first for you. Okay. Uh, I want to choose as a Maven project here, guys. Sorry. So let me choose the Maven project here. And let me copy generator hyphen Maven. Just let me make it simple for us. Uh, choose the next option. Let me choose Lombok Web Dependency MySQL Data JPM. Let me choose the next option. Make it finish. It won't take much time. Gradle even uh, not configured. So here we may get issues as well. Uh, let me delete the already created the project. <clears throat> okay. uh, let me delete the contents. Let me close it. Yeah custom generator by using Maven project. Okay. Now we are communicating to database. Obviously when you are communicating to database, uh, we should provide some properties. Okay. Let me keep it some properties here for database communication properties. Okay. Uh, I'm running my application on 08 port number. I have a dev DB. So let me use dev database. Uh, my password is admin. So this is the, this is a optional not required and show SQL, these are all the common properties where it is required, okay? Hope it makes sense to you this, okay? Let me go to your application. Here, I want to create a model class first. Let me create a uh, dot models. When you have a model class, obviously you should need a repository class as well. So let me do repository package as well. Now inside the model class, I want to create an entity class. I'm taking entity class as a product. Whenever you have entity class as a product, obviously you should a interface. Okay, these are all the minimum basic things you should know already available about. Just I'm uh, going fast for this one, guys. Let me do extends. Okay, I want to extends JPA repository here. Okay, JPA repository here. I'm taking entity class as a product variable as a integer data type. This is my primary key. Now by here, if you see my primary key is a string data type, not primary. Key. Primary key is your string alphanumeric data type. Okay. If you go to the product, I need to write some couple of attributes. Private string product ID. Okay. And private string name of the product. Okay. And private string description. Just as of now, these things are sufficient to start with our application development. Okay. So now what I can do, let me represent it. This is a entity class at the rate entity. Okay. And then what you need, uh, you need a Lombok you have already at the rate setter, at the rate getter method. This is a getter method. It's done. Okay. Setter getter methods is also completed in the Lombok. Why still is facing? Okay. Let me import the setter method as well. Okay. Done. Okay. Now let me go to here. I want to create a custom generator class. So I want to create a package instead of the models. Generator is the model class. Here what I'm doing, I want to create a one custom class here. 
you can use any name whatever you want you can name so what i can say uh, product id generator just i am taking one a random name okay generator uh, this is a class okay this is a class uh, hibernate is providing one of the interface called identifier generator here this is a predefined interface is available guys see here identifier generator it is from org.hibernate hibernate implementation okay here right click and make it add unimplemented methods here you need to write your business logic i will make it very simple for your self understanding here uh, it is asking to generate a version uid generate it here now inside see whenever you are using product id generator automatically this method will be invoked here here whatever you write you need to write your business logic here as of now i am not using session and object it should be very simple what i can do whenever you are inserting a product i want to make it prefix as a pr okay underscore i want to make it and then id should be auto generated by using uuid okay dot uh, we can use uh, methods random uuid dot to so whenever this method is invoked this is completely auto generated this is called product id generator now how to link to your prop.java now you should know okay in the older versions okay uh, some by using strategy type wherever you see the articles now it is completely deprecated in the latest version uh, this approach we should write how to represent as a primary key at the rate id and here at the rate generic generator here so this is the one uh, see we should use inside this generic generator i should provide two attributes one for the name what is the name for your generator and you need previously here we have a strategy now this strategy is completely deprecated now in the latest version so instead of that what you can do we need to make it as a type okay this what is the type here your product id generator okay. product okay just you mention here product id okay generator generator dot class here like this you need to specify here now here you can provide any name okay like custom underscore uuid so how to generate a value at the rate normally you will write generated uh, strategy type right now here let me make generated value now here basically how you specify previously strategy is equal to generation type dot auto identity but right now not required why because i am creating my own generator so you should specify your generator name what is the generator name now this name and this name should be matched here this is the syntax here guys so by using this logic you can able to generate your product id into a database as well to test either you can write controller layer service layer and repository layer all the layers instead of that i want to test from the main application here from how you can send okay see let me make a auto by private okay uh, hope you know about a interfaces right there is a application runner command line runner i am using command line runner whenever you start the application this method will be invoked automatically to to save our time what i am doing as of now i am using you can test from your controller service layer and everything guys so what i am doing here i want to make it as a private um product repository here product repository here just you can make at the rate auto word annotation okay at the rate auto word is the annotation now by using this product repository you can save your product into the database you cannot write in the main method because main method is a static method so to avoid that one i want to create my product object as of manually in the real time you can do hit a request from the postman however you want that one okay now see here product dot i want to set the product name uh, maybe i can product as a uh, iphone 11 just i want to set and product dot set description you can provide as a uh, mobile phones here just this product i am saving see id i am not setting as of now guys id should be auto generated see now our application development is ready now now how to test this application make sure uh, i am connecting dev db it is running on double three zero eight port number a ddl auto is equal to update and show a skill equal to true okay if you want you can make it disabled as well no issues okay now let me run this application now. right click run as spring boot application 
when you start your application okay uh, it should be auto generated guys value now just to have a look now my application is started now my application is started oh no that is an issue oh field in stock doesn't have default value why or oh, dev db okay let me check my database once oh, okay dev db okay think product i i have a dev, dev database guys not dev db so let me use as a dev just to save the application and let me restart my application now it is connecting to another schema and there my database is expecting some other things so that's fine let it start our application then you can able to see yes now your application is started see? now if you go ahead and check in our database you can able to see here. now see right click on the database and go there and check your product table see here now product id is the string data type here if you are able to see here uh, in the ddl script you can able to check ddl product id where care not null see primary key product id here so this is the where you can implement custom generator whatever you want that logic you can write you can write it here if you have a uh, suppose sequence support you have from session object you can get connection object you can do some JDBC type of code you can write it and you can do it as well. This is our business logic here. Right now, to make it very simple to understand this concept, I explained here. If you okay, uh, interested, uh, I mean, say if you like this video, yeah, please go ahead and leave your valuable uh, comment in the chat box, guys. Okay, thank you, thank you, everyone, guys.